Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we want to calculate the elastic strain energy for a member in torsion. Now, just the same as the other energy methods videos that I've done, when we're talking about strain energy, we call that capital U. But if we divide that by the volume of the entire member, then we get lowercase u, which we call strain energy density. And as long as we're working in the elastic range, then the strain energy density for a member in torsion is just the shearing stress squared over two times the modulus of rigidity. And then all we have to do is just integrate that over volume to get the total strain energy. So it would just be like this with um, tau xy squared over 2g uh, dv. So this is just the general expression uh, for strain energy. Uh, this works for non-uniform cross-sections. Um, but in our case, we have a uniform cross-section along the whole length, so we know that we know that the shearing stress is going to be equal to uh, the internal torque there times rho, the distance out from radially out from the center over the polar moment of inertia. So what we can do is we can plug this in, and we'll find that the total strain energy is just t squared l over two g j. And we have all of these numbers for this example problem, so let's go and plug them all in. We're going to find that we have our total strain energy is, well, T squared, that's five, uh, five kilonewton meters, so let's do 5,000 newton meters. We'll put that all squared. Uh, this is times L, which is 0 0.5 meters. Do some brackets, 0 0.5 meters. And on the bottom here, we have 2 times modulus of rigidity is 77 gigapascals. So that is 77 times 10 to the 9 pascals, which is newtons per meter squared. And our polar moment of inertia is 1.272 times 10 to the negative 6 meters 4. And now we can go and cross out some units. So we have meters squared and meters 4. So we'll knock that down to a 2. Up here we have meters squared and meters squared, so we can knock this out. We'll remove the two from there, but don't forget to square the 5,000 newtons. Um, in here, what else do we have? We have newtons, a single newtons on the bottom, a single newtons on the top, or two newtons on the top, so that will become one, uh, one unit of newtons on the top, and again, don't not square the 5,000. So we're going to have newtons times meters. We can rewrite this maybe a little bit more cleanly, so we can see that uh, this is just... 5,000 squared newtons times 0 0.5 meters divided by 2 times 77 times 10 to the 9 times 10 to the 6 is just 10 to the 3 and, and then times 1.272. So this will give us final answer in units of newton meters and that's great. So when we calculate this, we put it in our calculator, we're going to find that the total elastic strain energy built up in this member is 63.8 newton meters, or that's also the same thing as 63.8 joules. So there we go. That is the elastic strain energy in this member that we've subjected to torsion.